Hello, Kurt Curtis coming at you from the Full Octane Garage, and today we're going to talk about four post lift safety and operations. Okay, the vehicle is on the lift. The ramps have the ability to stay permanently on while we're lifting the lift. So now that the vehicle is fairly well centered on the lift, you want to try to keep it as centered as possible. We have a little bit of limitation because of our nine and a half foot ceilings and the garage door, which we have not had raised at all. So we're going to come around and show you the operation of the lift. The lift has a safety lock down here. And what we want to do is engage the safety lock like that by lifting up so that as the lift goes up, it will automatically click into safety guides. So about every four inches at some point, it will lock in so that the car will not be able to drop even if the cable comes loose. So now we have a motor button, which is the up. We're gonna push that and we're gonna watch the cables tighten up and you'll see the vehicle start to lift. Also what we've done is you'll notice here on the pole, we've actually put a nail polish mark so that we know the bottom of the lift should not exceed that by too much. That's gonna be the safety click that we'll hear and we'll let it down to that mark so that we don't run it into the ceiling. Now as this thing goes up, you're gonna hear it click into some safety spots. And once you see the safety arm click in, then you know, like right there, it is clicked. You can actually let the lift back down on it. And now the lift is safe to get underneath. Okay, now that it's locked in, we're going to go ahead and raise it some more, and you'll see the lock mechanism change position, and then you'll hear it click at the next level, and probably about five or six more levels up, until we hit our mark on the pole. Every time you hear that pole go up and it clicks in, that's at a safety mark that you can actually drop the lift on the safety points and it will not fall below that. Like right there. Now as you can see, the bottom of the lift is getting close, so the next click we will probably be at a point where we're going to be able to drop it back down. As we hear it, make sure all of them click like that, and then you can let it down, and you'll hear it release pressure, and now you're up on safety pins. So this lift, and I also made a uh, mark here so that we know about where the level for the C1 Corvette should be. If you have multiple cars on here, you might want to put different level of marks and mark them more clearly. Okay, the lift is in the up position at the moment and it's on its lock. So as you see, you cannot pull this handle because of the tension on the locks. So what we have to do is we have to raise the lift up a little bit and you will see the stress come off of these locks. Like that. Then you can pull the lock down like this and there is a lever here to release hydraulic pressure. The motor does not run in the down position, it just releases hydraulic pressure and when you push it, it allows the lift to slide down. And you have to watch out because that lock position, sometimes it is a two-handed operation because that lock position does not stay without holding it sometimes. I'm holding a camera so it's a little more challenging.
and then the lift will just go all the way down to the ground. And I'm going to hold this down so that it doesn't pop back up. And you want to make sure nothing is under the lift, nothing including your feet, because it will hurt. Now that the lift is actually on the ground, it will be safe to drive the car off the lift. Um, now the next thing is, is we want to leave these ramps on here because our Acura NSX will fit under these ramps while it's up in the air. But we do want to make them a little safer. We want to put some, uh, some tapers around these edges and maybe put a piece of rubber uh, tubing along the edge of this so that we don't hurt somebody. It's all fun and games till you poke an eye out. So hang out with us. We're going to probably make some marks around this thing, get a grinding wheel, grind those edges off, and then uh, see what else we can do to make it a little safer, maybe throw a little paint on there. And uh, stick with us. We'll show you how. Okay, here's what we're going to do is we're going to kind of make a, a small line around here to round this edge off to make it a fairly decently rounded edge. Okay, what I have is a 60 grit wheel. Always remember to wear your safety glasses. Let's see how this goes. Actually, I don't think I'm going to take as much of this edge off because I think that it's going to curve very nicely. So we're just going to round it off with the grinder. I don't know why they wouldn't have done this out of the factory, but it makes it so much better so that you don't poke your knees. Okay, we got a little bit of uh, black lacquer paint. You know, what we're going to do is it dries very quick. We're just going to cover these edges up so they don't start rusting. Next, what we're going to try to do is, uh, I don't have it today, but in the future, we'll do another video on maybe slitting a rubber hose to go across here. That'll solve two problems. That'll solve one problem in the event that somebody bumps into it. And the second problem is, if a car that I happen to roll in is a little bit too low, it won't scrape on the paint, the rubber hose will. We've got our four post lift in place. And now what we need to do is to lubricate the runs because it's, making a little bit of noise going up and down. So we have some white lithium grease and we're going to spray that along the tracks and we're going to see if that quiets the lift down a little bit. Uh, I've seen some recommendations for maintenance on this that you do it uh, you know, probably uh, once every couple of months depending on how much you put the lift up and down. So let's give it a shot. Okay, as you can see there's a nylon block that slides up and down this lift. So what we're going to do is we're going to spray some white lithium down the inside of this. We're going to do this on all four posts. 